It's been often said that the second generation can never live up to the accomplishments of the first. And our Wine Star Man of the Year had a big challenge in that area. Just imagine if your father and your uncle were credited with being the most instrumental force behind the creation of the modern U.S. wine industry. Just imagine if your father's groundbreaking marketing and sales techniques were studied at Ivy League business schools. Talk about an impossible act to follow. But Joseph Gallo has done it. He reinvented one of the most successful family businesses in the U.S. history, and if Ernest were alive today, he'd be incredibly proud and equally amazed. Under Joe's leadership, this major producer of California wine has also become an important player in the imported wine business, importing more than a dozen brands from 10 different countries. And that's not all. Led by Joe, the Gallo Winery has also become the largest exporter of American wine. They ship to more than 90 countries, not the least of them China, where Carlo Rossi, for example, sold more than a million cases last year. And today, the Gallo Winery also boasts the largest selling bottled wine in recorded history with its Barefoot brand, which is currently on track to sell 15 to 20 million cases this year. Wow, amazing. It goes on and on. Joe has also led Gallo's charge into the premium wine market with acquisitions such as Louis Martini, William Hill, Edna Valley and Bridalwood in California, and Covey Run and Columbia in Washington State. Finally, and perhaps most amazingly, Joe has made Gallo a major player in the spirits business. On top of its four million case E&J brandy franchise, New Amsterdam Gin has grown to 700,000 cases a year, while New Amsterdam Vodka has become the fastest growing vodka in history, hitting one million cases in its first year. Add to this the very hot Camarina Tequila franchise and the US launch of Barbados produced rum Shellback, and you can plainly see that thanks to our Wine Star Man of the Year, Joe Gallo, this just ain't your father's e and Gallo Winery anymore. In 1933, Ernest and Julio Gallo established the E&J Gallo Winery in Modesto, California. Much has been written about the formidable challenges the two young brothers encountered when starting their business. However, they had immense confidence in one another and a strong belief that there was an untapped opportunity in the American wine business. So they took a chance that would forever change their lives and ultimately reshape the wine industry in America and around the world. Our company came from very humble beginnings. My father and my uncle began their business. Their sole objective at the time was survival. They were driven to make enough money to provide a modest income for their families. The depths of the Depression. As the business reached a certain level of success, their mission changed. They began to have this vision of transforming the whiskey and beer drinking culture of America into a wine drinking nation. Gallo has always sought to make their wines approachable to all consumers, while giving wine enthusiasts the confidence and information needed to purchase wine more frequently. The Gallo Winery has become an industry leader in the crafts of grape growing, winemaking, marketing, and distribution of wine and spirits. It's created a diverse portfolio of premium and popular wine brands to meet the evolving needs of their customers. As a result, more and more people around the globe are now choosing wine as their preferred beverage of choice. This shift in preference has led to tremendous growth and opportunity for all in the wine industry. Growth has always been a focus at Gallup. As a market changes, a company needs to be relevant to make products that the changing market consumer wants. We can see in our own portfolio how we have changed during our history 
to meet the ever-changing needs of the consumers. Since he was appointed CEO, Joseph Gallo has focused on innovation, and the company has responded with the introduction of 88 new brands. He's led the efforts to acquire premier vineyards and wineries throughout California and Washington, including Louis M. Martini, Bridalwood, William Hill Estate, Edna Valley Vineyard, and most recently, Columbia in Washington. In 2005, Joe announced the purchase of the Barefoot brand. In just one decade, Barefoot has become the top-selling bottled wine in the United States. Looking beyond California, the company committed to building and maintaining an international presence. Today, Gallo is the world's largest exporter of California wine, selling in more than 90 countries around the world. In fact, for many people, their first experience with California wine often involves a Gallo brand. The E&J Gallo Winery also imports wine into the U.S. from Argentina, Spain, Italy, New Zealand, and Australia. During the last decade, Joe has paved the way for Gallo to enter the spirits industry through the successful introductions of new Amsterdam gin and vodka, Familia Camarena tequila, and the latest new brand, Shellback Rock. Now, beginning its 80th year, it's clear that E&J Gallo Winery's best days are still ahead. With 14 family members spanning three generations of the Gallo family actively working in the business, Joe considers family ownership to be the company's greatest asset. Today, the Gallo brand is a promise to wine consumers around the world that there are family members involved in the business who are passionate and involved in every detail to ensure consumers are receiving the best wine for the greatest value. Please welcome our man of the year, Joseph Gallo. Adam, thank you very much. You know, when I, I was just told him when I walked up, I said, you talked about this person so much, I said, who's that guy you're talking about? I don't recognize him. <laughs> First of all, thank you, Rap Adam, for all you've done. You know, in all honesty, I sort of feel like the 49er quarterback uh, who was recognized for winning the game, when in truth, he took a whole team that's part of a long-running tradition. In that vein, to the degree we have been successful, I wish to thank and recognize our distributor partners, our numerous retailer partners, our numerous suppliers, and the 6,000 plus members of our organization who are part of that team. I'd like to say that uh, I feel very fortunate to have been able to build on the foundations of my father and my uncle. I feel confident that those who follow will continue to build on the foundations of the past and will strive to make efforts to make this company continue to be relevant to evolving consumer needs. We at Gallo feel fortunate to be part of this great industry, and we are honored and happy to be part of its evolution and progression since the repeal of Prohibition. Thank you very much.